Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Because I can't. I need to stop hyperventilating, y'all. Like, what is happening? <laughs> I've just had my second cup of coffee because I thought that I don't have enough energy for today. Spoiler alert, I did and now I have too much, so buckle in. <laughs> so I am so excited for what I have here today. It's like my most anticipated delivery because my expectations are extremely high. I am talking about a Lidjoy Crate Magical Edition Year 6. Oh my god. Anyway, you might have seen Lidjoy crates, um, uh, magical edition crates previously popping out since this is the sixth one because they do it for every year. I personally have two friends that unbox them. So first is Bex from Bex and Books and then there's Cherry from Cherry Wallace. I will leave their both down below. Lidjoy crate is actually a box that is a monthly book YA subscription box. And I have unboxed one of their boxes before. I will link that down below for you guys to see. I think that was in 2017 at least, maybe 16. I don't know, 17 maybe. I don't know. I'll link it down below a long time ago. But the ladies are absolutely lovely there and I've always admired their professionalism and their love for Harry Potter, obviously. And they have been kind enough to send the six of them here like I could cry. I will leave the links to their website down below. I also have a side package that they send me some add-ons because they do some add-ons so you can order some previous items. Not all, but some are available after the fact because obviously these crates fly out. Like literally you have to be so quick to order one. I know they've sent me something extra which they did not have to do, but obviously I'm so excited to see what it is. So I'll leave that to last, but let's get into the box because if I stall any longer, I will probably pass out and no one needs to have that on camera. And this is what I think is pensive and you see some memories floating about. Oh, so beautiful. Okay. And this came all the way from America and it really held up really well. Okay. This is... <laughs> I need to chill. Also, happy nudes day. <laughs> this is a perfect way to open the nudes, I think, at least for me. And I'm gonna do a selfish thing and unbox this. First up, we have their um, Beware, Protect Your Home and Family from Death Eaters. Oh my god, this is gonna be the spoiler card. I do not want to look at it yet. This is the, uh, the pamphlet that Harry got that is like after everyone knows that you know who is definitely back and he's like, oh, that was kind of a useless pamphlet. This is it, I have the useless pamphlet. Cute, very cute. Okay, first item that I see is like really big and awesome like faux leather tote. Ah, yay, okay, so this is of Fred and George next to their new shop. They're just brand new in the Diagon Alley with their brand new line. And we have like a bunch of different, their products on the other side. So we have Pygmy Puffs, we have Fainting Fancies, the Fever Fudge, Puking Pastilles, the Extendable Ears. Don't actually know how these are called, like the teeth. Cute. Okay, I'll, I'll go through it like who did what. Oh, there's you know poo. The most importantly though, there's you know poo in the corner. Hell yeah. That is a very good size as well. And it's something that you can take in the rain as well because it's like, it'll just run off really nice. Oh, I think I saw something and I can't handle it. Oh my God, I think, oh my God. I have to, I have to take it. It's a pick me buff. It's a pick me buff. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Okay, caring for your pygmy puff. Name your pygmy puff. Feed it. Prepare a shelter for it and play with it. There's like steps here. Okay, you guys suggest me the names for this pygmy puff because I will name it. Oh my god, this box is also adorable. So this is how... <gasps> There's a certificate of adoption inside. Oh, I'm having too many thoughts and I don't know which one surfaces anymore. So there is a little pygmy puff in the cage. Can I take it out? Oh, I can! Oh, thank God, because I would be irrationally sad about it being stuck in the cage. The pygmy puff plushie and the little pygmy puff... Let's call it home. Let's not call it a cage. Oh, so cute. And a certificate of adoption. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is why I said I have such high hopes because all of their boxes that I've seen before, the quality and the imagination is like through the roof. So that's what I was 
so excited they're not cheap these boxes but if you, especially if you are locally american it really is worth it and obviously if you're overseas then you might have to think and if you can squeeze it in your budget but so far i'm loving it so much suggest me some names and we shall name a book roast pygmy puff and it shall live and be our new member of the family okay now that's dramatic and done another pink thing is this love potion so we have amorentia love potion of course we have to have it oh it's a candle oh oh shoot you're not supposed to try and take it out like i try, try to take it out like yeah there is a wick inside it is a candle you can lit your own amorentia potion oh my god i think it might smell a little bit like my actual love potion would oh it's so fruity and lovely i'll see what the scent is in the spoiler card unless they actually left it like oh it smells differently to every person which would be a nice touch but I, if i had to guess sugared sugar strawberries and lemon maybe raspberries i don't know some sort of fruity berry kind of scent then there is this lid joy crate um beautiful green very slytherinish oh is this gonna be a locket like the the, the actual slytherin locket <gasps> yeah it will be oh my god i just saw the note it says to the dark lord i know i will be dead long before you read this but i want you to know it was i who discovered your secret i have stolen the real horcrux and i intend to destroy it as soon as i can i face death in the hope that when we you meet your match you will be normal once more r-a-b so this is gonna be like a fake Slytherin locket. Oh, it's like a different design from the normal one. Understandable, that is a massively difficult design to make. But this is like a locket that has an S on it and it actually opens, I think. It does. And then I think it snaps back or I just broke it. No, I think it's fine. That's pretty cool. I love that there is a note. It just makes it so much more special. Oh, oh, it's a stand. It's a stand for something. I don't know for what yet. I'm assuming there's gonna be an item later on, but this is stand for something. <laughs> Might be for the necklace, I don't know, we'll see. Then there is this box that says, this book is property of the half-blood prince, so it's gonna be the potions, advanced potion making. Woo! And it's a fake book, I think, yep. But it has this like leathery feel to it actually, so oh no way i thought it was just gonna be like a container thing <gasps> but it has like a liquid luck vial i kind of dig that it actually does not have a label that says liquid luck it's just like a potion with like golden beads the presentation i think is what matters the potion is just sort of like the filling and obviously you can take that out and use it as a secret book uh yeah book oh i love it and it feels so good very nice then we have a pin and this one's done by dustin page as i see already and it is of a pensive so the middle bit actually turns and twists it's really cute it is a bit loud <laughs> but it's very very cute it says into the pensive actually because of course that was such a massive part of year six then we have a phone stand, but it is shaped as a gone family ring. Are you joking me? That is so cool. That is incredibly cool. You can put it on your ring and ah, I love it. I'm gonna try this because I use a pop socket constantly, but I never actually tried the metallic ones. So I'm gonna definitely give this a go because this is so much cooler. Wow, I love it. There's another little box, there's nothing on it. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, there's a miniature um, tabard type of glass, like a jug. It says, farewell Aragog, king of uh, Arachnids. It's basically when they met up to bury Aragog. And obviously that is such an important part of the story because that is when ha Harry got the memory from uh, Slughorn. And I like to believe that it's tiny because this is how it looks for Hagrid because he's massive and maybe those were normal size so this is how Hagrid would feel it would basically be a shot <laughs> which explains why he pretty much almost always goes for something a bit more stronger than your normal butterbeer um that is adorable. 
That's adorable. And you could use it as a shot glass if you drink and you are of age. Okay, another little box. And in this one, oh, we have this. Oh, it's, it's a um, music box and actually says, the ones that love us never really leave us. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna be a Harry Potter theme song or... Oh my god. But it has a phoenix on it. Oh, maybe it's for Dumbledore's death. Maybe this is the phoenix song when he flew out. Oh no, feels. Oh no. Oh no. Let's put it aside before I start crying. Jesus Christ, okay. On the bottom here, we have a book sleeve. Oh my God, I love book sleeves. Okay, it's one of my absolute favorite things to get in boxes and I actually never had a literary book sleeve and I pretty much have a collection now at this point. And that is the book sleeve. Oh, it's, oh, oh my God, I love this design. Oh my God, it's in the room of requirement. Oh, it actually has a lot of details. So there's a room of requirement and Draco with the vanishing cabinet. Then there is, I believe, cauldrons with the door here. There's also a Dobby with all of his um, hats here that Hermione knit. And there's also Hagrid here in the corner with, I think, a train. Maybe something is a bit hard to see, but I love it. I love the design. I love the feel of it. Ooh, so much yes. Okay, then we have some magnetic bookmarks. This time we have it of Happy Christmas from the Burrow. And then there is, is this a gnome tied to a tree? <laughs> I'm not sure. Then there's Slughorn that's halfway morphed from the armchair. Um, and Lavender Brown, it says, I love 1-1. One, one. <laughs> that that, those are such unique choices and I love that because it's more unexpected and unique. I love that a lot. Ooh, a bunch of like collectible cards. I know they've done them before. We got ourselves a uh, Dumbledore with a phoenix. And then we have Snape with a doe. Uh, Ginny card. Ooh, from Gryffindor Ginny. I love her. She has her pygmy puff on the shoulder. Then we have Tom Riddle, a young one. A Draco with a Slytherin sign. And also Slughorn. Those are cool, I like them. Because you can collect them all because they have like little normal signs on them as well. There's also an extra card with a snitch. Because I know there was something with a extra collectible card. And then at the very bottom there is this gorgeous, gorgeous print. Oh my god, I actually am in love with this print. It's of a frame with Dumbledore, but the way Dumbledore is presented here is the way I see Dumbledore. As much as I love the actor that took over from the third movie, I love him, but it's not the Dumbledore that was in the books. It's just not. Everyone knows the, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> but this, look at that smile. This is perfect, and I actually want to and might frame it. It is beautiful. I love it. Whoever did this knows it too well. And there's this silver envelope that has a Professor Slughorn stamp on it. First of all, that is such a lovely detail. And now I don't want to ruin it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I didn't actually ruin it too much. Oh, this is gonna be an invitation. Wait, is this gonna be an invitation to a slug club? Because I won't pass. Cordially invited to a Christmas party hosted by Professor E.A.F. Slughorn, December the 20th at 8 p.m. I'll be there. And this is like really lovely. Oh, I love that. And then the very last thing in this never ending amazing box. Can you guess how I feel about it already? Um, is this, which I'm sure is gonna be a wooden bookmark. It is. Okay, so it, oh my God, is this Nan Fei? Nan Fei is an artist that I really fangirl over. Her art is amazing. I'm fairly certain this is Nan Fei, but I might be mistaken. But this is Bellatrix on one side. And uh, oh, this is when Snape made the Unbreakable Vow. Oh my God, this is stunning. <gasps> it's so like, her style is so evilish. Like, you know, ooh, 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 love it. Okay, okay, let us go through this and I can see more about it. Box artwork is by Karen Leopold. Um, there's some bits like that from the actual like pamphlet, Death Eaters are amongst us. Felix Felicis bottle. Oh, it's for the bottle, like for the Felix Felicis thing. You, you can put it on your 
book that makes sense that that makes sense the shopping bag art is by melody ho um then the slytherin locket may contain dark magic so be careful with that a breakable vow bookmark is art by nan fei how good am i <laughs> at actually recognizing artwork i'm pretty impressed with myself but i love her stuff so damn much Ooh, obsessed with that bellatrix like portrayal as well it's amazing it's I don't think anyone else would have done it more justice than Nanfei. Trading cards are done by Gabriela Bujozzo, and the candle is by Say Anything Studio. Scent is different for each witch and wizard, but we've been told it often smells like sugared oranges, sh sherbet lemons, limes, and mountain greens. How close was I? Hmm, good news. General pre-sales open on September 11, 2019 for Magical Edition Year 7.1. So they're going to be two for seventh year, which is amazing news. The book sleeve design is by Yessi Draws on Instagram. Then art by Katerina, book designs on the little uh, shot glass. Uh, the headmaster's portrait is done by Rob Bruno and for the Phoenix Lemon music box with tears in our eyes and a heavy heart We read the account of Dumbledore's tragic death that moment when Fo Fox the Phoenix sings a Phoenix lament needed to be captured in a clever way for this year's sixth crate Anyway, so that is the box and I could not be happier. Honestly, I'm just so so happy this was the perfect way to start the news for myself especially because i know i'll be working so damn hard i have a lot of things to help me through it like the book sleeve and i i can't even think what the favorite item is but i mean the pygmy puff has to be up there with it but i love like the box the music box is definitely like hitting in the feels but i honestly i i honestly love everything and I never love everything. <laughs> it is so, so rare for me to actually love to or have the prints as one of my favorite things. This Dumbledore print is one of my favorite things. And this woodmark, something else. Ooh, what? Okay, if I had to pick one item though, I think I have to go with Pygmy Puff though. Because it's just... Oh, it's so good and I cannot wait to read all of your guys suggestions for the name please please let me know but as I said there's extra stuff because they do have add-ons from the previous boxes as I mentioned here is what I got which again is just a massive cherry on top it's like a watermelon on top I'm sorry but <laughs> I don't know how much my heart can handle but first of all we have this spoon and you might think <laughs> but you guys it says Ron's emotional range on it so this is an item from the fifth book um, it's just amazing I will be using that non-stop non-stop then there are these Sunday socks by Le Joy Crate and these are you no know which book this came from because it could be really either I might say second because of Dobby but I'm not entirely certain but they're like different they're like matching but they're different because obviously Dobby really cool and then this I can't handle this is so amazing it says magic most evil <laughs> in like gold foil and it has this beautiful design that says restricted it's like a book from restricted section uh, which I'm assuming is the first year and oh, beautiful design inside as well and it's like a line notebook and it looks like a book and I just I'm living for it I, I think it's amazing and then I also have two prints so the first one is this of Newt Scamander uh, which I believe was not in any of the boxes but might have been on the add-on page just for like a general Harry Potter thing and then this print which is the scene of Harry and Ginny kissing. It's just so good. And I'm forever bitter that the movies did not do it justice because it's supposed to be all like the after the Quidditch game and they're all emotional and Harry finds out that they won and it just happens. But they made that like stupid dumb kiss. Ugh, in the movies, man, don't even get me started. So cute. That is it, Lit Joy Crate. You guys have done such an amazing job. There is a reason why these boxes fly out, oh, dear God, <laughs> like it's amazing. It is 
possibly the best Harry Potter box I've ever had. The quality, the quantity, and the imagination is beyond amazing. I love it. As I said, it's not a cheap one, but you can probably see why. Um, and if you can, I would 100% recommend you get this. I can't. <laughs> but if you can, let me know which item was your favorite and if you can. But if you can't, then at least tell me like top three, I suppose. It is a hard choice. Thank you guys for watching. Happiest of newts. I believe in you. I know you'll do the reading. The most important thing is that you have loads of fun, so that is what I'm wishing for you. And with all of this Harry Potter magic and joy, let the nudes begin, and I will speak to you guys in the comments. Don't forget to name the pygmy pub, that is the main thing. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!